Miles leaning back in his chair, preparing to click the ready button on on Nestra's champs. Probably the hardest part of getting ready. There we go. Both players are ready. Let's count them down in three, five, sorry, four, three, two, one, Tetris. Wow, you've used Nestor's champs like 50 times already. You know it's five. Yeah, yeah <laughs> and I screen look from the actual Twitch stream instead of Tetris champs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> fair, fair. Uh, this, this is why all the YouTube commenters are telling me, hey man, you gotta stop looking over every five seconds. Yeah, maybe I should, I don't know. <laughs> well, to be fair, the YouTube comment section just they, they, they gotta criticize everything. If it's not one thing, it's the other thing. Can't make everyone yeah, happy. Some, sometimes these guys have a point. But right now we're off to the classic one, one point push down from Sidnev here. She scores a Tetris and Miles, 24,000. Sidnev just behind that 23. And another Tetris for both players here. K9 with the 3 to one bit saying good luck, have fun. Thank you so much, K9. If you're watching on YouTube or on Twitch and would like to help contribute the prize pool for our division, one player, so top four players. You can do so with Match Reno. Um, we're currently at $1,171 and looking to increase this score or this prize pool for our players. It's all proceeds will go towards them for our, their incredible performances. So any amount is greatly appreciated. We've already beaten sure. our goal of $1,000. Here we go. Starting off, 139 versus 138 for Sidnev. So, um... <clears throat> yeah, pretty even game here to start out. Miles, 88% Tetris rate. Sidnev at 93, so a bit more efficient. But Miles does have... Well, okay, after that Tetris, Sidnev taking back the lead. But this is very early into the match. So, really, these leads don't mean much of anything. But it's cool to talk about because we need something to talk about. Yes, I, I do want to talk about Sidnev. Her talk sequence setup like her aggressive setups that have become very characteristic with how her usual game is like just like it's like i forget if you were here in 2019 or not but this is kind of like 2019 stacking but like if all the players were good if they didn't really top out <laughs> wow that, that's a <laughs> statement right there <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna ignite the rabbit hole of that one just yeah. beware what you've done i know um, people were throwing the they did the fundamentals of what we have today you should be grateful. Yeah. yeah, but even there, like with what you're saying about Sidnev stacking, you see those quick adjustments right there. It's making these slightly more optimal placements that might barely make the stack better, but if you do a bunch of them over time, in theory, your stack will just look just that much better. But every now and then you make the wrong move and then your stack looks like absolute crap. So you wanna balance them out, right? You don't wanna just go for these adjustments all day. Um, Right now, both players in a little bit of a drought here. Didn't have opening up the well with that skim and getting the Tetris. Meanwhile, Miles up high. Oh, Ooh. that was a bad hang for Miles. And he's going to have to take a few burns to get out of this. It shouldn't be too dangerous for him, but that's pace that's going to be lost to Sidnev. Yeah. Right now, 307 Miles looking to avoid an early top out. Yeah, right now just dependent on a bunch of L's and J's and right now he's not getting the J piece. He's gonna have to change the dependency to an L. Finally getting a bar to bring down the board a bit. And there we go, there's a Tetris for Miles. But in that dig sequence, he's gone gone behind by about two and a half Tetrises. Sitting at 420,000. Hey now, and Miles at 360. Right now Sinev with a J dependency in the center. With level Lombard as well, that could work, but she does get the JP in time. There. Yeah, Miles is getting a bit spired, but it was still clean enough to where it didn't cost too many issues. Oh, adjustment with the Lombard. That was <laughs> def he definitely did not intend that to happen, but it worked yeah. out perfectly. Yeah, Miles with a bit of foresight there, seeing that it wasn't actually a Tetris, and then basically just spammed his controller until he got something that could work, and it did end up working. But <laughs> that was definitely a dangerous sequence there for Miles. And choosing to go for the Tetris instead of filling the bar dependency, we'll see how that works out for him here. And okay, he gets the long bar, that's very helpful. Miles, once again, with yet another long bar dependency, he's gonna set up a triple. Now, 444, 537 for Sidnef, so potential for a 650 transition, whereas Miles, at best, can hope for a slightly 
slightly higher yeah, than mid like 500k. Around, yeah, a high 500k, mid to high, depending on how many burns he takes. It's it's decent pace for Miles. It's nothing to be too proud of here, but Sindev's pace is definitely very good in competition. Yeah, it doesn't matter what level she's at. She's at 18, 19, 29. She will not let go of the aggression. She just does sure. not let go of the gas pedal. So this is any single deficit against Sidnev could just be de really detrimental. But Miles is doing yeah. a great job here, at least maintaining the efficiency. Yeah, and with aggressive play like that, I know myself personally here, it could either win you matches or it can lose you ones. And I've definitely seen it win and lose matches for both me and Sidnev. So. You have to mat you have to match the aggression, but you also have to know when to use it. And right now, Sidnev in this game one has been using the aggression very well. And one Tetris away from transitioning to level 19 at 651. Meanwhile, Miles has gone in at around 583. So solid transition from Miles, but Sidnev in at 675. That's some incredible pace from Sidnev to kick off this game one. Yeah, right now Miles was set up for the Lombard spin because of the Lombard tempo. Full of burns, but still with the 600k. Sinev already was 700 at level 19, so very, very efficient start here from Sinev, and who knows how high this could get before 29. Yep, Sinev just needs a decent piece to fill in. There we go, finally gets a square. It's those little dependencies like that where you think it's a pretty easy solve, but if you get droughted forever, your board suddenly looks like B-type, so you really have to be careful in Sinev dealing with that very nicely. Yeah, she's definitely doing a great job here, maintaining efficiency, not giving Miles a single second to breathe. Right now, 758. Yep. She is behind the line count as well, which is almost a little bit surprising if if you agree. Sinev is a very uh, yeah. aggressive player who always plays up high, so typically you would expect her to kind of be ahead in the line count, but it's not the yeah, case this sure. time. But Sinev's going to need a few burns here, and that Z piece, I like that adjustment to try and keep that open, but that's going to cause some more burns. So Sinev in a small little burn sequence, this is what Miles needs to at least dig into this lead that Sinev has here. Yeah, right now Sinev with an L dependency uses a long bar, now we love a square, Great but nice J. Left. Yes, yep. builds up the left, and it's going to get to Tetris 858, 841 for Miles at level 24, yep. so we are getting near the 29th speeds. Now, Miles has actually pretty much brought this game back. He was down by just around 100,000 at the 19 transition, and now he's pretty much caught up here. Only a few thousand points separate the players. Sinev actually tied on the line count, so it's just a Tetris and change between these two players here. This is a very close match. Yeah, and we've yet to see what these two can do on the 29 speeds. 29 with rolling is a lot like 19 with Das. I feel like even the top players will, yeah, can have can have a bad day, but we this is gonna be a very important game one to see how these two fare up in the 29. Yep. And we know that both of these players can play very well in 29, so it all comes down to nobody topping out early and somebody just scoring slightly more efficiently on the kill screen, which is pretty darn hard if I'm gonna be honest. Um Right now we got Miles who's just under a max out on level 27 and Sinev is at a 1.056 at 210 lines. So still behind in the line count a bit and ahead in score. And with this digging that Miles is in, looks like it's going to stay that way for the time being. Yeah, looks like Miles is going aggressive. He didn't go for the yeah. triple. Um, I know how I feel about that right before level 29. Gets the long bar, but was that even a Tetris? I, I'm not sure. I think it was a Tetris. He got a 1.06. He was at a low one, a low max out. Okay. But we'll transition regardless with the needs a five tap or just a combination of flat burns in the transition. Sinev already with a 1.17, still yet to transition. Yep, there we go. And with the 1.2 with the Tetris on 29, Sinev has around 130,000 point lead and is behind in lines here. Miles with a dirty center wall and gets it, but Sinev also gets a Tetris. So these players are neck and neck, and there we go. Another Tetris here from Miles in the center wall, looking to bring it back towards the right side. No, never mind. Setting up again, gets another one. And Sinev, oh dear, Sinev's about to top out. Sinev tops out here, 1.253. Miles, you need 1.254 to take this match. I just need the Tetris and change. Bit of a misdrop there with a T-piece. Looks like that uh, aggressive play on 28 both kind of that uh, hurt him and helped him because yep. it put him in a good spot. It's trying to misdrop that Z needs the five tap, needs a clutch five tap, needs a miles dick. It's a it. there it is. 
Still... This is something we've seen Miles dig from before, but a few bad pieces of this high can do you over. So Moss needs to be very careful. Great flat long bar burn there. Oh, we need to hit like seven left here, probably. Oh, oh boy, no. this is a tough five yeah, That's and gonna do it. it. Good lord, Miles will take will not take game one. Sidnev has survived the game and will be in the lead after that unfortunate failed chase down from Miles. We've been seeing that a lot throughout this quarterfinals, not just in this match, yeah. but just a lot of failed chase downs where it almost seemed like it was curtains. We have ready from both. Okay, let's just try it out, and if it doesn't work, uh, we'll look into it. If the, and if we can't find a fix, we will try to do Twitch again. But anyway, take two. Let's get started with game number two in five, four, three, two, one. Tetris. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Bar T piece. These players are off. Same piece sets. And the same goal of winning this game number two here. Especially for Miles, who's already down one to zero. He needs well, he doesn't need to win the next match, but it would be very, very helpful if he does, because then he would not have to reverse sweep. But of course, today we've seen two reverse sweeps already, so maybe he wants to be down 2-0. We'll see. It's all part of the TikTok content here for Miles. Mm -hmm. But yeah, none of, nobody has been able to clutch the win after they were up 3, they were up 2-0. and oh, So it's interesting to see if this ends up becoming a pattern long term or if it's just a bad luck between two players. Um, yeah, right now, Sin is starting out pretty <laughs> rough here with the early bar dependency and then a drought right after it. So... She's going to be behind by about a Tetris in a bit, while Miles with the clean board has taken an early lead here. Oh, and that LJ depends on the left for Sidnev. If she gets a bar, that's going to be pretty annoying. Okay, there we go. Gets the L piece. And, oh, making another bar dependency there. So the piece is really not working out for Sidnev, but Miles is also in the dig, so Sidnev's not going to be losing much pace here to Miles. Right now, Sinna with a Lombard Dependency on the left side. Um, yeah, sets up a T-Tuck or a Z-Spin. Doesn't get either piece, though. Yeah, the story of Sidnev's life so far this game has been just terribly timed pieces. Hoping to get a bar here. Nope, just going to try to burn it out again. And opens up that left side to get a bar. Finally gets it and gets the J right after. So Sinev is going to be safe here. But with that burning and Miles cleaning up his stack... Miles is going to be in the lead by about 60,000 points here. Set up, set up for a potential 30 Tetris. Waiting for the Lombard, getting droughted. Finally gets the Lombard for that Tetris, now at 137, 175 for Miles. And she's going for this perfect well transfer here, not settling for any skims or burns there, which might be leading to more burns, actually. There we go. She has that set up again. There we go, there's the bar. And then taking that double, she's back to a traditional right well. No dirtiness. And bang, another Tetris for Sidnev. That's set up for a potential tuck. It's a nice J tuck. And uh, yeah, very nicely done. Has a bit of a softer start here. 50% Tetris rate in the first 60 lines, 210. Whereas Miles has a. Fairly decent efficiency here at 290. This is still potential for a 600. Another Tetris from Miles crossing the 300k mark here with the 72% Tetris rate. And they're at the same line count. Miles is ahead by around 57,000 points here, but Sinev with that Tetris, gonna even it out a little bit more. Still, Miles with the pace and score lead. Yeah, there we go, Sinev with a nice O-Tuck. So, go, once again, doing the uh, expected Tuck setups and more aggressive uh, play for Sinev's side, trying to avoid as many burns as possible, while Moss set up for a double L dependency, but uh, solves these dependencies and is going to look to get Tetris ready, open on the right side, waiting for that Lombard and gets the Lombard for Tetris. So, nothing really too bad in terms of what the seed's been looking like we haven't been seeing a lot of droughts just pretty yep. standard yep that start from sinnev you know some poorly timed pieces but miles was able to use them well so can't really call that bad rng it's more just like bad timing for one player and 
find timing for another. So that's how Tetris works, folks. But anyway, Miles here taking it to 42,000 ahead. There we go, Cinev with another Tetris bringing it back a little bit. This is a very close game. The, mo the lead that Miles had in the beginning has been cut into a bit by Cinev, which is sort of expected with how Cinev plays. And right now these players are preparing for level 19, which is coming in about 30 lines here. We're looking at about a mid to high 500k for Miles, same for Sidnev. So assuming no players get into digs or any shenanigans, we should be looking at a close game here. Yeah, once again, hopefully Ooh. this can come down to 29. Nice setup there from Sidnev. Yep, setting up a bunch of T-Tucks and Z-Tucks and... If you get the Z's and T's, then it looks pretty cool. So that means it was better. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty easy. If, if it looks cool, that's it's better. It's, it's content. Exactly. And that's that's the most exactly. important part. <laughs> anyway, it looks like Miles, uh, yeah, could still get the 600k. Has three Tetrises left and two burns available. Yep, and both players with pretty clean stacks. Sinev with a nice double well here. And Miles just playing very traditionally clean here. Has also a very nice double well. Oh, 2019 players are just foaming at the mouth right now. And one Tetris away for both players. Sinev goes in at 557. Miles with one more, waiting for the bar. And oh, poor timing with that bar there. But Miles, next burn will take him into 19. And there we go. Just at 600k, 601 for Miles. So, small lead for Miles, but nothing too crazy. 605. Ooh, Sidna with this very aggressive placement here. Ooh, looking for the LP. Yeah, she doesn't tuck any squares in there. We're specifically looking for the LP. So, that's very aggressive stacking from Sidnev, and it's going to pay off. And, ooh, Miles has some miss drops there on the left side. So, that's going to be some more burns. Great adjustment for the L, but. That's going to be some digging, and that's going to allow Sinev to take the lead here. Now, at a similar line count, Maz is just a Tetris behind, but Sinev is ahead by at least two. Yeah, Sinev is, li like I said in game one, this is kind of what you expect from her, to be relatively ahead in the line count, just from how high she stacks and how efficient she always tries to be. And uh, right now, it's 793, so this could be anybody's game. She is ahead by 79,000 points, but she is ahead by about two Tetrises in terms of line count, so this could yeah, play so a factor. Is, this is a real lead here for Sidnev. Sidnev both in pace and score. But Miles, finally with a clean board, is able to score more Tetrises. Some bad parity, but good flat burning with that J will definitely fix that. But still not the cleanest stack. Meanwhile, Sidnev is just stacking beautifully here. Another Tetris to take two and a half Tetris lead here into 24. About 80,000 point lead here for Sidnev. Yeah, she is potential for maybe even a 26 max out. Has uh, is Tetris ready? Gets a Tetris now at 916. Actually, this could be an into 26 max out if she avoids the burns, but not getting the good set of pieces. Forces to Ooh, okay. Yeah. Just gonna take some safety burns here, which is not not a bad move at all. It is more important to survive than it is to try and go crazy aggressive and die. In my opinion. No, just a hot take out here. But Sinev's gonna burn this down, but that's gonna actually help Miles catch up here a bit. With the next Tetris, Miles is gonna take the lead back. Assuming that there is a bar, that bar is poorly timed, so he's gonna have to wait for another one. And oh, but those misdrops for Sinev again is gonna lead to some more burning. And Miles yeah. is just a few thousand points. There we go. That double is gonna give him the lead. Sinev going for the tuck with the J piece and goes for the own. Oh, I don't know if she meant to do that, but regardless. Still in it. She's not out of the woodworks yet. Ooh. Needs a Lombard. Gets the Lombard square piece to the right side. And would love a J. Or a J Lombard could work too. Here. Ooh, yeah. These are some nasty pieces up high here for Sidnev. And oh, no. That bar is not what she wants. And right now, right before 29, Sidnev's only goal is to actually get there. She, I think she will get there. But right now, she needs to try and get a good enough stack to where she can work around this as we oh, reach the transition. Flat burns and very diggable. Oh, Wait. yeah. Great she pieces. can survive. He's a five tap. Hits the yep. five tap. Tetris ready. Give it a Loma. Gets a Loma for Tetris. 1.03 for Sidnev. 1.15 for Miles Sidnev with one of the one of the greatest clutch digs I've seen so far, especially with how high the stakes are. 
Yep. But meanwhile, Miles in all of that has taken a pretty substantial lead here. About 100,000 points here on level 30. And he is behind in lines as well. But Sindev doing what she does best on 29. Slamming down Tetris. It's going to try to eat into this. Miles slamming right back at her here with another Tetris. So it's going to be a very tight game here on 29. Yes, Sinef is doing a great job here at cleaning up her stack. Keep in mind, this is the world record holder for the highest score into 39. So she is not stranger to having to go aggressive. And she is Tetris ready. Bangs on a Tetris. Tetris. Miles is looking to burn this down. Is losing the lead as Sinef is clean. Takes another Tetris. Yep. Now behind by 25,000 points. Yep, Sinev is ahead by 10 lines. So this isn't too bad for Miles. But he needs to get out of this dig ASAP. And oh boy, Sidnev. Oh, looks like Sidnev is going to top out here. And Miles already has the lead, is going to take game number two and tie the set one to one. Okay, Sir, Sergio on YouTube asking if this will. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me start the countdown first. So let's start the countdown in five, four, three, two, one. Tetris. So there was somebody on YouTube asking if we were going to do the semifinals and the finals today as well. Uh, no, we're going to be doing that this upcoming Sunday, next Sunday, I guess. Let's call it September 8th. Uh, I forget which time. I don't think there's a scheduled specific time yet. But that'll be where we will host, host our semifinals and our grand finals. Right now, we've already got three semifinalists in Dan V. Dan V. <laughs> in Blue Scooty, uh, Sodium, and Dog. Right now, we're looking for our fourth and final semifinalist to get into the prize money. You know, Peak secretly revealing that he is a Dan V fan here. We're <laughs> yeah. off to a pretty standard start. Both of these players are tied to the decimal here. Uh, actually, Sinov now with a 10 point lead. Oh, never mind. Wait, is it? Yeah, it is. I uh, know Nestor's champ says plus or minus 0 0.00 Tetris. Says. So you think they're tied, but they're actually not. Yeah, just a couple of uh, 750 points. Who knows? Maybe this could be the deciding factor. And what happens in game three? Yeah, the good old Harry Hong fans will come out and be like, oh my goodness, the push down points, man. What are you doing? Maybe this is the match where that happens. We'll see. And Pine's Cooley correctly saying that Miles had 11 push down points, actually beating out Sidnev's one. So we've got a bit of shenanigans here from Miles. And right now, speaking of shenanigans, Sinev is up pretty high and needs an L piece. Okay, this is going to be a bit of a tricky dig, especially if the pieces aren't good. That bar left was crucial. There we go, opening up the well. Big sigh of relief there for Sidnev, but still not the greatest stack. Another Tetris would be much appreciated. Big triple, and looks like she's just going to burn out of this pretty easily. There we go. Go 159 for Sidnev, 173 for Miles. Great play from Miles there to actually keep that burn open so that the well transfer could be easier. And right now we're looking at Miles with a small lead, but it's nothing too too crazy in the beginning of this match. Yeah, 201 right now, 205 for Sidnev, so. Pretty good right now. Doesn't look like controller issues are a factor right now. So hopefully that was just like a maybe just like a bad connection into the console or something. Yeah. Hopefully it doesn't happen again. But regardless, both players are doing pretty good. Uh, Sinev with a 252. This is still potential for a mid 500k with this efficiency. This is kind of standard. This is almost like yep. back in 2020 when. Yeah. This is like prime 2020 like. Corian pace or something. You know? Yeah. We're just looking at a very standard game here. Nothing too special to start it off. But Miles with a very small, just under a Tetris lead, but he is behind in the line count. So early pace lead here for Miles probably won't mean much in the grand scheme of things. And nice T tuck and the bar to score another one. Send of actually taking the lead here, but Miles being behind in lines still with the pace advantage. Is uh went to the long bar, goes to the single, not the triple, and it does get rewarded for him. Um, so it looks like Miles Ooh. is set up for a potential 600. Looks like there's gonna be a drop for me, so he's gonna be forced to do burns. Send that bangs on the Tetris 346. What? Dan V preferring CTL over CTMs. 
uh, tournament, <laughs> uh, the way it's run, unheard of. Four eleven, not four fourteen now. There we go. That J piece for Sidnev is going to be very helpful. So is that Z. So left side here is going to be filled out. Looks like we're into another drought. Sidnev ahead in the P sequence here. There we go. Finally getting one after 20 some odd pieces of a drought. Miles should be getting this bar soon. There we go. Tetris for both players from that. And Sidnev has actually taken about a Tetris lead here. And it is a real lead for Sidnev here. So great job getting the lead back. And as Sidnev does best, she is pacing in the later parts of 18, hopefully going to keep that into 19 and potentially even into 29. Yo, Sidnev at 4, 6, oh my Ooh. god! What? That was filthy. Good lord. I don't even, I don't even know how somebody could set that up and, and just be okay with that. I would be yeah, absolutely crapping myself. Yeah, I'm known for those cheeky little adjustments like that. Even I didn't see that one, so... That was a very nice move from Sidnev there to keep the board clean and stay efficient. But meanwhile, Miles is doing his part in staying clean and being efficient. He's barely behind Sidnev. He's two Tetrises behind in lines, two and a half, but barely behind in score. So these players are going to be very close going into 19. Yeah, 582 <clears throat> for I have all. Sidnev, <laughs> yeah. 536 for Miles. I was just looking at your name. Like, I wish fine. I was here, man. <laughs> next season, next season, trust. Oh, oh um, yeah, me, me too. Yeah, I'm planning on it. It's <laughs> division two. Yeah, Miles going into 19 with a triple, so he's going to be at 568. Meanwhile, Sinef, who's actually a few, uh, just a level and a bit ahead of Miles, so this is going to be helpful for Miles as he is behind in line count, which personally I like being behind in line count. You get to see what your opponent's at. Only time it's bad is when you early top out and they're already ahead. So, Miles, do not early top out. And Sidnev, uh, keep on playing well because you actually have the pace lead. So it's not like you're in a bad spot either. But, ooh, these pieces aren't good. A lot of bars, though, is going to be very helpful for Sidnev. She takes a Tetris and go gets up to about 80,000, but that Tetris from Miles is going to bring him back into it. Right now she's with the Lombard Dependency and 6-4 with the 40-bit redeeming and on-screen celebration. Very nice. Anyway, 718 for Sinev, 660 for Miles. Sinev in a with four in her stack. But we'll be able to clean this out. Could you utilize the Lombard for attention, but let's get to another Lombard. 571 for Sinev, 689 for Miles. So very, very good plays here. Yeah, Miles was settling for a triple there in that dig, so could have set up the Tetris, takes the triple, which is the smart safety move, but some players would argue that Tetrises mean everything. So, Miles here choosing to be a bit more conservative this game, and it shows in the score as he is about at the same line count. There we go, same line count, and down about 60,000, 52,000 points down to Sidnev here. So, Sidnev with the real lead in score and in pace. Yeah, very nice. 870 count, 788. So, Sidnev once again with some good efficiency potential for. This could be a 1.2 with some minimal burns. I don't know the yep. exact number, but... Yeah, it is it's... minimal burns. I'm not too great. I kind of just play Tetris, and if I get a 1.2, I get a 1.2. But right now, Sidnev here is pretty much on 1.2 pace. Minimal burns. I think she has three, if I'm not mistaken. So, oh, she's very two. Possible. That's the last one. Yeah, th this definitely looks like it's... No, actually. Maybe... My mathing might not be math. I'm Maybe sure. three more. <laughs> Maybe three more. But that doesn't really matter too much right now as Miles is behind by just about 80,000 points here. So Sindev with a pretty sizable lead on Miles, but ooh, those pieces aren't going to be good. Piling a bunch of Zs on the right. That's going to be a few burned lines here required for Sindev. And especially up high, that's not what you want to see going into level 29. Yeah, once again, same thing that happened in game two where she Ooh, got those really high up there. Man, those squares. There we go. Crucial bar left. Sidnev needs to burn out of this before 29. No ifs or buts about it. Slong bar dependent. Mm. Oh my god, what is this? Where is the beam? Force into a triple. Gets a five tap to the long bar. And oh. that could do it. Yep. 
Not much Sinev can do there, and she's going to top out here at 1.092. So, Miles, basically, if you get a 1.1, you've got it. There's the Tetris, and Miles takes game number three here, going up 2-1 to one in the set and putting Sinev in a very tough situation. Sinev needs to win the next two games in a row, whereas Miles just needs one. Okay, so just copy-paste paste whatever I said in game two, the end of game two, when I thought it was 2-0, and just put that in here instead. Um, <laughs> But yeah, even though this isn't really a reverse sweep situation that Sinev can pull off, um, it's still a situation where we haven't really had someone be at match point and kind of not get reverse swept by some capacity. Yeah. That was so annoying. Anyway, we got a raid from both players, so let's get started with game number four. Count it down! In three, two... One, Tetris. All right, Dan V asking if CTL is paying everybody in the playoffs yet. Um, if I was in the playoffs, I'd know the answer to it, but I'm not. So I personally don't care, but Dan V is in the playoffs, so he does care. Um, I don't know. <laughs> well, we don't haven't had talks about it because we don't typically. There, there were last season, we reached three thousand dollars and we kept the top four prize pool the same. Um, but like, we, we don't really get that amount typically, so that's why we do top four. Maybe we could have some talks about like, if we ever reach $2,000 frequently or like, more, at least more than once, we can start uh, paying Mr. off Beast, the playoffs. If you like, Mr. Beast, if you like classic Tetris, just hit us up, okay? I don't know, man. He's been spending his millions on hiring lawyers right now. I don't know oh, if we can- wow, no, that's set up of <laughs> Cheeky. Very nice. He's like a, a Mr. Beast video here. One dollar versus five dollar tuck. One million dollar tuck. K9 saying with a thousand bits, I want more peak and eyeball co-commentary. It's been fun. Yeah. And we had Miles here with a few early misdrops, so he's gonna be in a small dig here. He's gonna try to get out of it with some pace, go for some dirty Tetrises. And never mind, looks like he's just going to try to burn this out, which is the smart move to ensure survival, but that's going to let Sinev take a small lead here early on, about Petrus and a half here to Miles. Yeah, right now, it's Miles with, uh, I would maybe you could call it a suffer start, uh, judging by these two's place, uh, not place, uh, their skill level, 100,000 at 36 lines. Not great, but it is easily, uh, he can bring this back easily, especially with how early on we are still. I think earlier this set we saw Sinev at like 190 at like 100, at, 100, at like 62 lines or something. She was able to get like a 580 by the end of the transition. Yep. So, Hi, Wallbat. Yes, hello, <laughs> Wallbat. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, to me, crossing 200k before 50 lines is about a solid pace. You know, you're looking at a mid 500. So Miles is right around there, just under that threshold, whereas Sinev is soaring past it right now at almost at 300k going into 60. So we're looking at, I wouldn't say comfortable. There's never such thing as a comfortable 600k, but being at around this pace, you're looking at it. Although Sinev here is setting up some interesting stacks here. I'm not sure how I feel about this. That's a dirty Tetris. Yeah, this reminds me of what Neko was doing earlier on. And K9 watching Tetris with the 20 tier 1 oh subs gifted to the community. Thank you so much, K9. A very valued and consistent supporter of the CTL, CTM, really any Tetris community. The supporter of Tetris. That yes. is his title. <laughs> he is our, he's our one true sponsor. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that double flip from Sinev, that is pretty nasty here. An L piece would be perfect, but no, oh no, there we go. A bar would also do the same job. So Sinev is going to most likely get out of this, especially with that J. That's going to let Miles take back some of this pace here. Yeah, but she's doing a great job at not adding more weight to her stack. Look at that Tetris. Yep. I don't know if you saw uh, earlier on while she was trying to bring this down, she was avoiding putting the square piece to the left side because she saw yes. that there was going to be a hole. And that's just one of those things that kind of make a top player, just being able to accommodate the unfortunate situations. Yep. It's also what makes an aggressive player aggressive if he 
don't get the right piece for that left and you don't put the square there, well, too bad, too sad, you know? You might just top out. Just end up knowing the risks of the situation and deciding the roll with it. And ends up saving a few burned lines. And knowing Tetris in 2024, a few burned lines could be the difference between a win and a loss. Yeah, but we've yet to see a level 39 from either either of these two, or honestly, in the entire event. So maybe the name of the game could be just trying to survive, not necessarily just line out to 39, but play yeah. your games uh, not too aggressive, taking the burns when you need them, and just keeping things safe enough to where you can maintain your efficiency without going too nuts on the base. Yeah. Miles choosing to take a bit of a worse saw there. Oh, never mind. That's a pretty nasty Tetris. He loves seeing that perfect bar timing, perfect well transfer. Those are probably some of my favorite Tetrises to score. So great efficient play there from Miles. Taking a skim for the square up next. But Sinev does have the lead by about two and a half Tetrises. Slightly ahead in lines though. So nothing that Miles can't come back from. But it's been a pretty consistent theme this matchup so far, Peak, where... Sinev has a bit of a lead going into 19, keeps it for most of the post, but then into 29 or right before it gets into some tough digging situations. They have you saying me and Scooty made it to 39. I'm pretty sure it's Scooty topped out at 35 and you just were able to chase it down at 39. But anyway, yeah, I agree. I think maybe it could be a thing to like, uh, maybe play a, a, a little safer just in the last couple levels because I've noticed that the pieces just don't go her way right before transition and she ends up getting screwed yeah. over into 28 speed so maybe you could yeah. sacrifice a couple of lines for the sake of a long-term survival yeah, and clean exactly. board although you know as commentators you know giving advice to these players right i mean i'd like it you know peak if you're commentating me next can you please just like tell me like all the score differences but only for me okay That'd yeah 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 appreciate. Eyeball, yeah. all you need to do to win is to just have a higher score than your opponent. And Sinev in a lot of trouble. Ooh. Oh my god. That L left was absolutely nasty from Sinev there. Missing that and then knocking the bar could have been game over. And now Maz is in a big bit of a dig of his own here. He's going to need to get out of it. It's not too bad. These L's and J's are plentiful. So he's going to be getting out of it with little, little harm. Sinev, oh, that's Tetra setup. Is she going to get a bar? Getting trouted, 18 pieces and counting, oh 20. Oh my goodness, not oh, bringing out Miles of Miles also in a lot of trouble though. Oh, Miles. Both players in a lot of trouble. Let's see if either of them can survive their situation. Sinev is cleaning this out. Miles, Miles can't even survive this. Ooh, yes, that's possible. Doesn't oh. hit the TPs. Oh my god. And we have Miles. ourselves a decider. Yes, early top up from Miles here on level 22. Sinev's already ahead. Takes the game number four, and with some aggressive center wall stacking from Sinev, keeping her in the lead, we've got ourselves a pivotal game number five. Winner takes all. Out of out of the four matches, three of them have been deciders. This That's has crazy. Been a blo blockbuster set of matches today. You yeah. can have a hundred thousand points. That could be the difference in this game five. That's the worst segue I'll ever do. <laughs> These both players are ready. Let's get them going, Peak. In five, oh, nice. four, three, two, one, Tetris. So here we go. The final game, not just of this set, of this entire quarterfinals. Winner of this will be our final semifinalist. Wow, that was that's a weird way to word it. But they'll be our fourth semifinalist and will be into the prize pool money and get into finale of ctl coming up this upcoming sunday not this sunday the other sunday september 8th oh we're starting off with a 30 piece drought oh my oh god my what is this goodness. still going 30 wow almost 40 pieces to kick off the game welcome to tetris folks i don't know if you were here earlier i know you were busy um but like in the previous matchups, we were having games where, like, they were having multiple 40, 50 piece drafts in the same game. And then they would have that again, in, like, in a different game in the same set. So I don't know what's been going on with the seeds lately, but they need to stop. CTWC RNG, man. Coming Honestly. back to bite us all. And a Vitz right, from Sinness. 
Yeah, nice bits from Sidnev and Miles need to do a few burns here. So Sidnev's gonna start out this game with a small one and a half Tetris lead. Nothing that Miles can't do anything about, but every game so far in this set, Sidnev has gained pace on Miles into 19 and throughout 19. So Miles here needs to kind of change that if he wants to keep it close. Now K9, well not right now, a few minutes ago, K9 gifted a one month tier one sub to Scooty, so thank you so much once again, K9. But uh, back to the match, here we have Sinev set up for a tuck there with a T-piece. Would love an L, gets the L-piece. I would love to build up this left side and also hit the Z-spin, which she spin. does. Yep, these top players, you know, trying to stay efficient, don't always go for the spins, even though they look cool, so that means they're better. And now we have a bar dependency from Sinev. She's going to fill it in, not choosing to take the Tetris, and hopefully we don't see another 40 drought. There's the bar. So, Sidnev keeping that lead on Miles, but Miles also keeping the stack. It's like a, a mini burst of square pieces are showing up here on Sidnev's side. Uh, she does have a flat board, so it's not causing too many issues, but we saw the situation where Tristop, uh, between Tristop and Sodium, where Tristop had a very clean board, had nowhere to kind of burn, was getting bursted with square pieces at the last second, yep. just topped out early on 18. Uh, and with that same burst of square pieces, Miles had a bit of a jagged stack and he actually unadjusted out of a few moves that, at least in my opinion, were better. So Miles is going to be feeling the repercussions of that and taking a few more burns. It's not going to be anything that will lead him to a top out, but against Sinev, who already has a 100,000 point lead on him, that's not what you want to see in this pivotal game five. That's what you said in the before this started. Maybe this could come down to 100,000 points. And, yes, uh... maybe it will. <laughs> K9 washing Tetris with $63.56 contribution into the prize pool, bringing our total up to $1,234.56. Thank you so much, K9, once Got again. A nice one, two, three, four, five, six in the prize pool. Yes. Uh, first person to break that donates more money to the players, but in return, it makes me sad. But also happy because these players are getting paid. So, really, it's a win win, but also a lose lose. You know? What they. What they need to do is they need to, the next person needs to donate a thousand and one hundred twenty one dollars oh, and something cents <laughs> to get the price book to twenty three hundred forty five. Oh my goodness, man. Someone, voice 24 is going to come out for someone and they're actually going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so back to the game here. We've got Sinev who still has a pretty sizable lead on Miles, but Miles has cut into it a little bit here. It's still around 70,000 here for Sidnev, but Miles has been playing pretty well ever since that shaky beginning. And he's just waiting for a bar, takes a skim, gets the bar. So he's going to be at around three and a half Tetris's, 80,000 points behind Sidnev. Yeah, right now Sidnev set up for a potential 600k transition, getting droughted by 21 pieces, but it gets a lot more time. For that Tetris, Miles is about to experience the same drought. Hopefully Miles knows that there's a drought. There we go. Another Tetris and we're gonna Oh, he was thinking about the bits. I know he thought about that bits, Miles. <laughs> to instead take the burn. But now Sidnev here, are we gonna see a bits burn? Nope. We're just gonna see some smart burning decisions in theory. There's a few ways. I actually don't hate this dependency here. You can burn a T, you can burn an S, you can tuck an L. A lot more accommodating than you might think, and Sidnev's gonna prove that with some more Tetrises. And this lead has ballooned to 140,000. Sindev's looking at a 600k. Miles is hoping to eke out a 500. Yeah, this is not looking great for Miles, but we do still have about, at most, 200 lines left to play. So this is not over until it's over. Miles, yeah, that's 500k is looking a little less likely now. This might be a this 499. Be just under, just yeah. under 500k. Unless he Sinef, takes like a double. Sin of transition at 615. Miles of transition about a 499. Yep. 380. So here we go. Final 19 transition. Miles is going to have to outdo Sin if, if If he doesn't do it in the 19th piece, he'll have to do it on 29. Assuming no That's early top outs. And so far, Miles has been able to do that. In both of his wins, Miles was just able to survive longer than Sin Nev. And Sin Nev is a player that is known for getting good scores on 29. Just sometimes the early top outs can do you dirty. And right now, Sinev with some burns there while she's getting bars. 
Hopefully we don't see the Giga Drought come up and absolutely screw everyone over. Looks like that's not going to be the case and Sindem's going to keep scoring Tetrises. But the thing about Miles here is he is behind in lines. So the lead here for Sindem, although it probably is a real pace lead, isn't as much as you think. It's still yeah. a lot, but it's not as still really easy to uh, lose this momentum and Sidnev a couple levels ago she hit at that double flip I think that's what caused her to start burning a lot she hit like a very untimely double flip mm. as she was Tetris ready oh that was a nice tuck there now double bar dependent oh boy Sidnev is holding out for a bar finally gets it very aggressive play but now Sidnev looks like she's not going to be going for anything too crazy just going to take the burns and that is exactly what Miles needs to take some sort of at least get back into the game a bit more. Yeah, here we go. Send him a couple of burns. Miles only behind by 100,000 points now. Behind the line count. As you mentioned, 725 versus 827. Both players are level 24. Send a potential for, once again, a 1.2. But we saw this in, I believe it was game 4. No, it was game 3. Yeah. That we... No, it was game 4. Game 3, I don't know. One of those. It was one of the games where yeah. Send just... You know, she had the 1.2 potential and then immediately misdropped and gone to a dig right before 29 so hopefully Sidnev doesn't fulfill that same fate here maybe playing it a bit safer towards the kill screen right now miles has actually caught up a little bit to Sidnev here it's scored the the lead is just under a hundred thousand points now yeah this is very much within striking distance even if this goes all the way to 29 it's still very much chase downable this could be anybody's game as we are nearing the final 29 transition of the quarterfinals where we figure out who will be the final player to reach the prize pool money and get into the finale of CTL season 26 this Sunday. That's not today. I like that setup from Miles, but he needed specific pieces to make it work. So this is going to be a little bit of digging for him. And that is going to help Sinev regain this massive lead that she had earlier in the game it's going to be over 160,000 now and this is pretty much a true lead for her so miles is hoping to get a 1.0 maybe a 1.04 whereas sinev with one more tetris here could transition into 29 at a high 1.1 she's gonna get it miles was knocking that lombard sinev transition with 1.17 miles can get one more tetris and we'll get that final tetris for the max out 1.01 sitting with a 1.2, so Miles 200,000 points behind as we are in the final 100 lines of this transition. Tetris for Miles. And Tetris for Sidnev as well, so both these players are slamming it down. Another one for Miles. Oh, these misdrops to Sidnev, missing the spin. Oh, no. Oh, no. Sidnev is out. Gonna... Oh, no. Sidnev's going to top out right into level 30. That's been the story of Sidnev's play today. And Miles just needs to chase down around 100 and 14,000 points is so miles you need 1.25 that will do it for you yeah but keep in mind he had a chase down in game one that he failed he was down yes. by only 10,000 points or something like that this is not over yet miles is down by two and a half tetrises he can burn this out he doesn't need to go aggressive yep remember remember this is not a super easy line out i believe from what i know as being an okay tetris player you can't completely line this out. You might need one Tetris or some triples. So Miles just needs to survive here until 39 pretty much. And maybe get a Tetris along the way or get some good doubles and triples. And that will do it. But that's not easy, especially with the nerves of this being a game five. Miles just needs around 65,000 points to do it. Has yes. five levels. Has 41 lines left to burn, so this is maybe a couple of triples could do it. Maybe he doesn't even even need a Tetris, Ooh, but he's set up for it. it. He's set up. Gonna that Lombard not showing okay. up. There's the triple, so that's going to be good points for Miles here. Now just 40,000 away. A Tetris here would actually do it. See, is Miles going to let the voices get to him, and is he going to stack up for some crazy Tetris? He oh is. no! No, 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 going okay, for the triple. Oh, oh no. wait, this is oh, going to be a triple. He's oh, a Lombard. Gets along for a triple. Okay. Still behind by about a few thousand points here. 2,000 points. I, one more burn will do it. And there we go. Miles has taken game number five to beat Sinev in this crucial quarterfinal. Moving into the prize pool. Great play here from Miles. And great effort from Sinev as well to take it to five. Very nicely done here. Incredible. Decider Miles clutching it up, making it to the semi finals. 
and we'll go up against uh, some. I think it's tr sodium. He'll go up against sodium. So. Don no. saying in chat, bro makes it as difficult as possible, and I cannot disagree. That triple <laughs> setup at the end looks like something I would have done five months ago. So pretty much that means it wasn't good. But he got it done, and that's what matters. So if you look at this bracket here, Peak, I'll let you take over. And... Yeah, here we go. Let's take a look at the bracket. I haven't updated it yet, so let me quickly update that before we take a final look at the standings and where we're at. There you go, Miles with this win. Moves on to face off Sodium this upcoming Sunday. And then afterwards, we have Dog versus Blue Scooty. That's going to be... These two matches are going to be really, really amazing to see. We'll see what ends up happening. Looking to with it. Has a bit of a dependency for me. We'll love a J. And now I'm stuck in this burn sequence. That's just not letting up. Yeah, he wants something like a T here. And didn't get it early, so... It's going to be... Yeah, 